Well, okay, uh, big big disclaimer again, no? um, because as we know, really the virus ha- has a timeline. Eh? We don't have yeah. control over that. No? So it's a big, big disclaimer. So of course, I don't, of, of course, Sana, the conditions imp- continue to improve uh, for that matter. Uh, and then, uh, of course, we have to have the relevant uh, governmental uh, permits. No? But uh, that, that being said, uh, we have been working naman towards that end. So we've, coordinate, we've been coordinating with the CHED, uh, for example, um, seeking consultation with the PSC, with the Games and Music Board, and the people have done it. No? Itong, uh, the Giras, the, the Clark experience, the PB experience. So we're working on, on all, the, all the protocols uh, to, to make sure that each and every student athlete's safe, uh, safety and health is ensured. No? Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, as we know, the vaccine is really a game changer. So hopefully, tuli tuli ang rollout ng baka vaccines. I know that the numbers uh, recently are not very encouraging. But uh, we still have a lot of time naman that hopefully we can uh, achieve some sort of uh, quote-unquote uh, herd immunity. Guru to manage expectations since we are most probably looking at a uh, uh, bubble scenario. So the things that SJ mentioned, the things that we most miss, no, yung atmosphere, being there live, there's nothing like watching uh, ano, a live game. No? Um, the drums, no? that's, sig- that's a UAP signature. And uh, yun lang, baka, baka yun may malayo pa. Most likely, we are looking at a bubble scenario. So we manage expectation of the fans, baka sa TV lang tayo. But I guess, like the Olympics, no? at least natuloy and uh, the world still had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yan ang mga may expect natin. And uh, hopefully, we have a full season for all events. But again, no? uh, conditions permitting, uh, tingnan natin, we have to adjust to different scenarios. We also cannot promise as to the length of the uh, of the tournaments, whether it's gonna be a double round, because uh, we were talking about informally with SD Kanina, how long can we keep the student athletes uh, away in a bubble, including the training? So these things we really have to continuously monitor and study and come up with our format as we uh, reach uh, next year, no? around February 2022. Well, Edie, just just to clarify that there is no definite timeline yet for you for you guys in terms of uh, yeah. this type of proposal as well, right? Well, um, I, I, I let me say na lang na we're, look, we're really looking at uh, mga around February 2022. Nagdi disclaimer lang kasi again, if if continues, uh, sorry, the continues uh, the the conditions rather uh, deteriorate, then we might have to you know adjust again depending on the situation. Yun lang naman, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, to, para lang meron kayo idea, it's really sometime uh, February 2022. Just a quick one, Attorney. How exciting is it that there's going to be throwback games here um, and on signal through the UAAP Varsity channel? Uh, you know what? You can even stop at how exciting is it that we have our own channel. Kumpala <laughs> eh. I mean, come on, man. Again, another milestone. No, We have a uh, uh, new look, the logo, and now we have our own UAP Varsity channel. No, So, wala pang laro, may channel na. And that just speaks of uh, the, the trust that you give to us. And I guess, siguro naman, that the UAP, the likes of SJ, Diego Dario, Keeper Abena, and all the student athletes that, that came before you are really worth watching again. So, talagang uh, nakakakilig, nakakakilapot. And uh, again, just having his own channel is uh, so surreal. So, talagang uh, congratulations to all of us. No? Uh, we could not have made this without the cooperation of everyone, no? especially the student athlete.